by Marx, bearings question. GCSE students do not like bearings, but actually guys, it's very simple as a concept. But the questions that examiners ask that utilize bearings can be quite difficult because it's non-right angle trigonometry usually, okay? But always remember the concept of bearings is very simple. So I've just got this picture. It was a past GCSE questions. It had some towns and it said, calculate the bearing of the town C from A to 1 DP. Now, what is a bearing? A bearing is a description of how much you need to rotate the north line to be pointing to where you want to go. All right, it's very simple. So when it says calculate the bearing of C from A, all that means is from A, how much do you need to rotate the north line so that it is then pointing towards C. Okay, so how much do you need to rotate this so that it's then pointing at C? So we're gonna draw a line from A to C. What a beautiful straight line that is. And I need this whole angle here. Now, I've been a bit foolish here and I've not actually put the angles. I'm pretty sure this was 150 degrees and this was 37. Let's put that back in. Okay, now, if I need to know this rotation to be pointing towards C, that just means I need this angle here, theta, theta. How do I do that? Well, it's kind of giving me, because I want to know what this angle is, I have one angle, I have two lengths, maybe I can find this angle, it's kind of telling me sine rule, but there's a lot of angles missing. In bearings, particularly in questions like this, I want you guys to think of this single parallel line um, rule, and it's the co-interior angles rule. If you have two parallel lines, the interior angles here, what is it? They add to 180. So if this is x and this is y, x plus y is 180 degrees. How can we utilize this here? So I'm looking at the parallel lines, and I'm looking for interior angles. Well, if this is 37, then this angle over here will be 180 minus 37 using that rule. Yeah, my co-interior angles rule. I'm just going to get rid of this B. Just so I can uh, do my maths, 180 minus 37 before I make a mistake is 143 degrees. And if you guys want, you could do this one as well. That's the interior 150. This one here would be 30. Now, is it going to be useful to us? Maybe not, but why not just put on your diagram anyway? So we can now work out this angle by just doing 360 minus the other two angles. 360 minus 143 minus 150 is 67 degrees. Okay, now, if I want to use the sine rule, I have two angles. I have sine of this over this equals, ah, that's a problem. Sine of this over this. But I don't have this length. It's not looking good. You could find it if you want. We could use the cosine rule to find this. Maybe we could use the sine rule with, could we use the sine rule again? If I had this angle, I have the opposite length. Sine of this over this, so finding this angle. But then again, I have the issue of, this does not have the opposite length, okay? So I can't use the sine rule, guys, because this pairing has an unknown, this pairing has an unknown, and this pairing has an unknown. So I'm gonna go back to what I said originally is we need to work out this length first. Let's call it x. All right, so this is a tough question. We need to use the cosine rule and then probably use the sine rule after. What is the cosine rule? a squared is b squared plus c squared, so it starts off with Pythagoras' theorem, minus 2bc cosine of the angle. Now your a's and b's, it's all about the opposites. So this is my capital A, this is my lowercase a, here's my b, here's my c, it doesn't matter in which order you do your b's and c's. So x squared is 8 squared plus 9 squared, Minus two lots of eight and nine and cos of 67, okay? 
Now at the same time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to root both sides to find x. Now if you've been watching me long enough, you'll know exactly what I'm going to be doing with this answer. Especially my GCSE students on my main course. I've conditioned them well to, by default, do this. Alright, so I have 8 times 9 times cos of 67. 9.4199. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to store this value. I'm going to store it as the letter A. So that, so in my calculator, I'm just going to above the 7, I have STOA. Yeah, so I'll probably have like a, a diagram here, well, video here showing you how I'm doing it. So we store it so I can utilize it in the future. So over here, I'm just going to get rid of this because the way I'm going to define this changes. So this is going to be 9.4199 dot dot dot, which I've stored as A. Okay. Now, with this value, how do we work out theta? Now I can use the sine rule. Sine of theta over the opposite length is equal to sine of 67 over the opposite length. Remember, the sine rule says that the ratio between sine of the angle divided by its opposite length is constant no matter which way you look at it. Okay, so let's say sine of theta over the opposite, 9, is sine of 67 divided by the opposite, 9.4199. Okay, rearranging, we're trying to rearrange for theta, it says divide by 9, we're going to times through by 9 first. So that's going to bring it up to over there. So this is now gone. Now, how do we rearrange for feta cheese over here? Well, you can't just divide by sine. That doesn't make sense. It's a function. Yeah, when we do f of x is 3, do you just divide by f to find x? No, you don't. We do the inverse function. We do the inverse of Sawing. So, we're going to write this. You guys should be trying this on your calculator as well. That cancels that. And now, we're going to utilize A. What I stored for A. So, I'm going to do inverse sawing of 9 sawing 67 over alpha A. So, things are stored for me. 61.57. 8, dot, 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 dot. But are we done yet? No. Yeah, so some students might end here. I mean, if you got this far, that's very good. But remember, we wanted the bearing. I need to add 37 because I need that full rotation. Okay? So my bearing is 37 degrees plus the answer button. And now I'm going to round it. So I'm going to add 37. 98.578, which will be 0 0.6, 98.6 degrees. Happy with that? No. There's a lot of things, guys, that we need to consider in this question. It's a really tough question. Bearing is three digits to the left of the decimal place. So 98, not good enough. We actually need to include a zero here. And that is our final answer, okay? So guys, very important question. Make sure you favorite this video uh, so that you don't forget about it. Like the video if you learned something. Subscribe for more maths content. If you're interested in my GCSE courses, feel free to check out the links in the description. And if you wanna join the Lung Gang community page to submit your own maths questions and get feedback, then link to that is also in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Noise.